Okay, we're gonna jump to the class challenges. Warrior first? Okay. I love seeing what kind of pre-made decks they can throw together for us. And I'm assuming that there are gonna be a whole bunch of new cards in this deck. Finally free! Your reward will be a quick death. Victory or death! Double Ghost Blade. <laughs> I'm just taking it because I can play it on turn one and start like super aggressively here. Oh, is this a bolster warrior? So what's going on here is that I've got a whole lot of taunt, so he's never gonna get to my hero. Wow. I love the effect though, right? Isn't that cool? The glow on the weapon and the hero. I guess I can just cover a spell. Battle Rage, Rampage sounds like the most useful. It's actually playable on this in the next turn. So that's pretty good. Okay, I kind of expected him to go for this one. Well played, buddy. Well played. This truly is a lot of taunt stuff. Let's let's discover a minion first. Oh, Grim Patron. Yes, please. We're gonna save the uh, unstable ghoul for the Grim Patron. Blood and plunder. Of course. So they kind of baited me into picking the cursed blade up so he could like one shot me. That's a, a definite possibility here, being one-shotted. Double Rampage. I am going to take Revenge, though, because I want to go for some crazy from patron stuff. Should I just attack that with my weapon? I think so. Ooh, feels bad, but I'm gonna set this up now. I don't really want to, but setting it up like this allows me to put the patron down in the next turn immediately. Oh, that's perfect. Oh no! <laughs> Fine, I, I could have taken Inner Rage there. I'm taking him because I've never played him before. I love it, I love discovering things, it feels so good. So I wonder how the heroic one is gonna work. This is already pretty cr- oh my god, and he clears the patrons. Wow. You know, doesn't matter who you're playing against. They know patrons are dangerous. In the grand tournament, you no or you die. Damn, I thought he'd have like a cool animation or something. Oh well. Fierce monkey, you're getting in the way. Ah, oh, fierce monkey, you're also getting in the way. Look at this! Crazy Zanar. Man, so bolster. Ready for action! I really want a bolster, so. I don't even care about optimal plays right now. I'm trying to figure out what the best bolster is. There you go. That is definitely the best bolster. Okay. You can't get this sick wisp value here now. So many torches, but I never see him using the second part of the torch.
Well, now he's dead. That's highly unfortunate. Best seats ever! Oh my god. Look at that imbalanced nonsense. Pretty fun. I must quite honestly say I never thought I'd use a bolster warrior deck. Anyway. So we got the obsidian destroyer as well. We saw that in action. Pretty cool. Now warlock. Please tell me this is gonna be... A Dread Steed deck. That would be amazing. I've also never used Dread Steed. I've seen it in play quite a lot. And it seems to be pretty popular right now, but you know, I've never used it. Son is mine. Right. Your soul shall be mine. Oh God. Should have kept the pit lord. Oh. I am invincible. Grab that staff. I like Wilfred. Unless he takes it back immediately. The temple. Okay, he's like going straight for it. Of course. Uh, what do we do? Man. So I can play this now without anything bad happening. I'm gonna want to kill that immediately, so let's just do it. Listen to the sound of it running. I like it. Oh, this is the new card. You can actually see it burn in his hand. That is sick. Uh... Wow. The value. I just tap as much as I can. While I'm invulnerable. So is he gonna play it? He's not gonna play it, he's keeping the curse. Oh, can I do it? Wow. Now, if I play Wilfred Fizzlebang, then I think there's a good chance that he's going to attack this instead of Wilfred. But I would rather get Wilfred out. That's not very useful. I was going to say I'd rather get Wilfred out uh, when there's actually a chance that I can just immediately use it. So on turn 8. Actually, I'll save this. There's no reason to, to go too crazy. We're in a good position. Dude's still cursed. Oh, wow. Cannot comprehend the powers of the rock. That's a bit of a turnaround. Another curse? I think we go for another curse. You might want to try to hang on to that rod. It's valuable. Double curse. Check it out. That's crazy. That can add up if he doesn't play those. 
And he's not playing them. It's getting hot in here. Wow. Wow. Such hardcore music. Oh wow, thanks, thanks. Reduced the cost by a whole one. Why do you Damn it. Well, at least I'm gonna get to use this again. Hopefully. I'm gonna get to use this again. Yeah? Definitely. I protect the temple. Look at that. Jaraxxus. Is it a demon? Damn. That's pretty good for zero mana. Putting that out there. Let's let the curse kill him. Pretty good. Big fan. Top Hitler. I'm still wondering if people are going to play that. So there we go. That's the normal mode of the first wing. And the first set of class challenges done. There's obviously heroic still, but... I gotta say, that was exciting. It's got a good feel to it. It feels like you're actually out there on a grand adventure, and that's... I want to say something that was not the same in the previous adventures. In the previous ones, you know, you were in a raid, you were doing the wings of the raid. It's not, it's not quite the same. This has a much better feel to it, and I really do enjoy it. This is proper original content from the Hearthstone team. Anyway. You can check back here soon for the heroics, and then next week for the next wing, which is Ulderman. I'm excited. I am extremely excited. You can actually see some of the cards you get in here. And we're gonna adventure with Brand Bronzebeard, which is sick. Anyway, check back here soon for more, give it a like, share it, and do other good stuff. Let me know which of the encounters was your favorite. I obviously enjoyed the uh, escape of the temple the most, like, by far. That's just such a clever idea, right? Right. Happy that.